And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. Now what? Further back. Pointing right at you. Further forward. Did you change your mind? You are the one. Oh, wait, they're too happy. I want to know about going general in regards to bodies, not being so specific about the exercise, the food, the, you know, more because I believe that those specifics will be filled in. But how do you go general with it? Give us an example of what you think is specific about a body. I guess I have all these questions about, you know, what, what's better, exercising or meditating or, you know, in terms of achieving the body that I want or um, what foods to eat, what diet. To, but of course, all know. of that is about action, isn't it? Right. And you're wanting to find the inspiration that fits with all of that. Yeah. But when we ask about your physical body and you think in terms of being very specific about it through life experience through exposure to others you have a mental picture of how you want to look how you want to look in your clothes you are undoubtedly comparing the way you look with the way others look in other words there's a lot of specifics about that but when we ask how can you be general about your body then we're not talking about how I look as much as how I feel. Mm -hmm. So now you're talking about things like stamina, vitality, flexibility, endurance, that hardiness, exhilaration. You see what we're talking about? Yeah. And, and those thoughts are more general and there's not as much that contradicts your desire when you are general like that you see what we're getting at right so that's the way we would approach it because you can get into a rather quick and strong and easy pattern of appreciation for your physical body when you are appreciating things that you do not feel are right now challenging it's interesting because almost everyone is critical in some way of their physical beingness mm -hmm. and it is from the comparison that they are making as they are giving their attention to others in part because of comments that they are hearing or standards that have been devised it's an interesting thing to stay on the leading edge of what a critical world believes you should look like but when you make it personal and general in terms of how you feel now you do the only thing that matters now you gain control of your vibrational frequency and it is our promise to you that as you do that all of the things that you've been asking for relative to your body that are so well known and understood and are being experienced vibrationally inside the vortex as you go general every time it regards your physical body and you stay off of the specifics that are self-critical so you keep those self-critical vibrations sort of at a minimum while you begin goosing up those vibrations of general appreciation what you begin noticing is that your physical body begins responding to the dynamics of that stronger vibration instead of responding to the vibrations of that critical attitude does that make sense to you yes yes so when you start feeling better and better and better are you more attracted to those foods that are better for all kinds of things will happen and different combinations of things will happen and the thing that is so interesting is that different people have different opinions and therefore different allowances and hindrances or allowances and blockages what you're looking for always is the path of least resistance to the outcomes that you are seeking mm -hmm. 
so just hold that thought in your mind the path of least resistance well how did the pieces of resistance get put in my path to begin with well you pick them up one critical attitude at a time you pick them up with condemnation from others or from self condemnation in other words you're the one every individual is the one who puts those pieces of resistance in your path so as you go general and you find this vibrational frequency of well-being what happens is those former pieces of resistance sort of fall by the wayside not that they go away but you find yourself maneuvering around them and so then you're right you begin getting inspiration Esther had just the most glorious dream the other night where she was running now Esther has not been a runner Jerry liked to run and Esther liked to walk fast and Jerry would run rings around her it was very annoying to her <laughs> because he had a speed that he was reaching for and Esther's speed wasn't up to speed and it just annoyed her that he was literally running circles around her as they would run and so one day she said to us Abraham are you there and we said we are she said how do you feel about running we said we think it is a very good idea are you ready and she said I am and Esther ran so fast he could not catch her wow. she left him in her dust but she couldn't walk for two days <laughs> because she focused in a way to accomplish what she wanted and the only thing she wanted was to whip him <laughs> so what we're getting at is as you go general and you come into alignment there are a lot of things in your vortex that are important to you and every detail as it regards your body is there relative to how you feel relative to your well-being relative to the way you look relative to how you feel in terms of stamina and energy mm -hmm. so the other night Esther had a dream that she was running and the reason that she had this dream that she was was running was because she's been focusing upon the power of her body the agility of her body the well-being of her body but she's been going very general with that and in her going general she managed to accomplish a vibrational frequency that the dream that she dreamed was a path of least resistance in other words it's an indicator that she's letting that resistance go relative to all of that you see and then the inspiration to act will come later because there are many things that people have developed of a physical nature that could be helpful for you and things in differing combinations are helpful for you but you want it to come through the path of least resistance there are a lot of people who just make up their mind about something and they apply deliberate action and they get results but sometimes the results that they're getting are not coming with total harmony of their physical body so it's something that you just have to find for yourself the component that we would most like you to consider is that of enjoyment we want you to enjoy your body we want you to take pleasure in your body we want you to allow your body to show you its potential the cells of your body are queued up and ready to deliver to you what you want but just as we said to a friend earlier the cells of your body are rising to the level of your expectation and a lot of you have been pretty hard on yourself and therefore on your body in your attitude about your body so you just got to get into this place of really loving the parts that are easy to love and going as general as you need to be to do that and everything will begin to come into place for you in just the way you want it to okay yeah thank you really good discussion